Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of Throw. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the sounds of your sword swings, make it more random if you'd like it, and even change the audio of your guns and stuff instead of being the same one. So let's go ahead and get started. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using this sci-fi weapons type sound effects just because they sound really good. And I'll go ahead and add that to my project. So in my content browser, I'm just gonna right click and hover over audio and create this sound cue. And I'm just gonna call this example underscore sound cue and double click to open this up. And make sure when you double click, don't hit the play button, just click around it. And then it will open up this output. And now in the ACF sample project, there's already some Lyra melee sounds. So we can just go ahead and add these. So I can just left click here, shift click till the end and just drag this into my example sound cue and drop this right here. And then I can add a random node in order to randomize these swings like so. And I can either connect this output to here or add a modulator if I wanna play with the sound settings. So in my modulator, I can do something like a pitch minimum, pitch maximum, volume minimum, volume maximum. So I'll just do something like 0.3 and 0.5 for the volumes. Actually, I'll make it a little higher, so 0.6 for the minimum and maybe something like 0.8 for the maximum. And then I can also some add some classes and attenuation settings. And so in Unreal Engine 5, attenuation settings are used to control how sound diminishes over distance from its source. And they're kind of crucial for setting realistic audio environments, especially in games where the perception of sound plays a significant role. So let's go ahead and create some attenuation settings. So I'll go back to my content browser, right click, go to audio and set up a sound attenuation. And I'll just call this example underscore SA for sound attenuation. Double click to open this up. And there are a ton of options that we can play with. So we can add reverb sounds, the power of it, air absorption, spatialization, volume, and so on. And this is pretty much gonna determine, so the sphere range is gonna determine where you can hear it from and the fall off distance. So if you want, so I can just leave it just like this. And then users around me would be able to hear it from a 3600 distance, kind of more quieter than someone who's in the inner radius of 400. And anyone in 400 radius or, or closer would be able to hear the full sound effect. So I can just add that example sound attenuation in here. So over here, you'll see this class option. And this is pretty much just used to... So this is just used to provide a way to organize and apply consistent settings to multiple sounds. If you have a bunch of different types of campfires and you want them to all kind of share the same class, same radius and so on, so you don't really need to worry about it, you can just set them all into one certain class in order to share the same sound class. So in order to, to create a new sound class, you can just go back to your content browser, go to audio, classes, and create this sound class. And I'll just call this example underscore SC for sound class and open this up. And I can just leave this blank just because these settings I don't really need to alter with. Output target will definitely be speaker. And yeah, I don't really need to do anything in here, but you could add child classes of other classes if you wanted to, and then also add passive sound mixers. So a sound mix allows you to dynamically adjust properties of various sound classes to achieve a balanced and immersive audio experience. So mixers can be used to apply changes to volume, pitch, and other properties based on gameplay events. So let's go ahead and just create one as an example. So I'll just right click, go to audio, and under classes, I can create this sound class mix. So I'll just call this SCM underscore example for a sound class mix. Double click to open this up. And in my sound class mix example, I can just add a couple. I'll just add that example sound class that I created. So in here, I'll just open up, add some, add an, add an item element to my sound class effects and add that example underscore SC. And I can just leave this at one one and I'll apply to the children, click this check. And I can just, just hit save and just use this. So more importantly, after this is connected for the example sound cue in Ascend Combat Framework, you can just go over to your weapon and plug it there in the traces. So specifically, so for example, if you have a ACF sword BP, so let's go ahead and open that up. So I'll look for that ACF sword BP in the sample, open this up in the blueprint editor, and then we'll scroll down over to traces, damage traces and open this up. And there's an attack sound that I can fill in. So I can just fill in that example sound cue. And now when I hit compile and save and start attacking with this sword, it's gonna start playing these sound effects that I put in. And it's playing randomly. Even though they sound pretty similar because it's supposed to sound like sword attacks, 
they're playing pretty randomly. And now let's try it with a gun. So using that sci-fi pack that I imported into this pro that I imported into this project, I'm going to play around with that with an ACF. We'll see where all the weapons are. In this case, I'm going to play with the shotgun because it's something pretty heavy. And the AR might be really annoying because of how fast it shoots. So now I'll just make an action sound for this. So I'll just call this, I'll open up the sound cue and call this example gun. Double click to open this up. And now I'm going to look for some audio from that sci-fi, from that sci-fi pack. So I'll just add a bunch of these into that example gun, drag it here. So I can just highlight all of these and then right click and add a random node and they'll all be connected as long as they're all highlighted. And then I'll just add a modulator, just like we discussed previously to adjust the volume. And I'm going to do something like 0.5 and 0.7 because this might get a little loud. And then I'll hit save. And I'll just use that example class that I created and the example attenuation that I created earlier. So now I'm going to go back to my ACF shotgun and put in that example gun. And now let's compile, save, and test this out. So this is gonna sound very sci-fi, which is not gonna be fitting for a shotgun that looks like this. But when I shoot, so it sounds really cool, honestly, but not really fitting with the gun and the effect that it's shooting off. I would expect like a laser beam or something to show off of this, but yeah. And that's pretty much how you play with sounds in Ascent Combat Framework. Pretty easy to set up and you can play, you can give it some random deviation for the sound effects and yeah. Thanks for watching, code to throw, like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.